Hello, hello, hello. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Psychonauts 2. Last time we left off, uh, we had just finished uh, helping out Bob Zanato sort out all his emotional baggage, and now I think it's time to take a deep dive into Nona's I mind. I hate to interrupt, but is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? I got the astrolathe working. I'll go get it started. You two come down when you're ready. That's my boy. Okay, bye. Stay away from the water! Oops, need to go this way. Okay, I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. I'm ready for whatever might happen. I like a trick. So that is uh Actually, maybe I could travel back to the other areas. That's all good. Still, I'm wondering what's going on with Truman. Took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Auto over engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. How is everybody else going to feel about this, though? That's, uh, that's what I want to know. Ford! Ford, is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And... Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Fulbear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear! I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here. And fool around on the bean bags, remember? Lucy. <laughs> We're actually all just happy to see her. Oh, great. Norma. Everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. <laughs> what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. This will be interesting. Tells me Norma's in on whatever bad stuff is going on. Which is not. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It is my great pleasure to present to you the high flying, death defying, ironically named Aquato Family Circus. Augustus, Don Nutella, Dion, Crazy, Rasputin, Murtala, and little baby Creepy. And the most important member of the family, one who's been here the whole time. Nona Aquato, right where she belongs in the heart of her family. What is this? It's a mental construct I made for Lucy to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. This is very reminiscent of the final level in the original you? game. What did you step in? I don't know. It looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Has anyone seen my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. Fair enough. All right, let's gather some stuff, shall we? Got it. Nice. You did it, my boy. You're my favorite son now. Wait, what is that? <laughs> wow. Flea Dad tells it like it is. Okay. <laughs> How do I stop it? I can slow it down. Ah, there we go. Come on! Get rolling! <laughs> Alright. I'll show you! No little flea is gonna make fun of me.
Okay. So what's the secret? It's at the top of the ladder. No, no, we haven't had a high dive in the Aquato family circus for years. You know, the curse. You know, the more I think about that curse, <laughs> the more I think it's a lot of Gravolknock. No, keep up there. All right. Good question. Ford, our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley, stinky dam is all. This way. Wow. wow. Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, where did that come from? So, are we actually going to be able to help out Lucretia? I mean, I kind of hope so. Because I kind of feel bad for her now. Like, I mean, she was essentially used by the king of her country, and... Who then tried to eliminate her afterwards, and she lost everything as a result. That's wow. That's that's harsh. Can I get this, please? Please. Thank you. I'll take this nugget. What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolathe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little gussy. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! over here. Stop trying to avoid me trying to kill you. This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never used the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you, hey Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> Ooh. 
All right. Not behind there. Psychic summer camp? You're the reason I became a psychonaut? Well, it is either you are crazy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic nonfiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy. Just so intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula, Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. All right. <clears throat> Let's get it done. Well, I'm definitely gonna need the slow time, because Causing this bad mood around here. Hold on for me. Come on. Now go it. Great job, Rez. Now open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. Focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! That's tragic.
Mm, this isn't the way to do it. Oh, this is just gonna trigger her old memory. You made a mistake. I think we made many mistakes. But now we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now I'm only one of those things. Scared. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry for it. I'll be right here beside you. Ah! <laughs> eh, nope. Himmel. Jackpot. Bullseye. I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of the mole. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. <clears throat> Agents? We have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Yep, she is. Really, she's just some long repressed trauma. It's okay. You're safe. What happened? We were... You were obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that... her? Oh, I boy. told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend. Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. My god! Oh yeah, funny story. That's not really Nick from the mailroom. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. All right. Lily, Raz, listen. I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. We need to get to the bottom of this. How? Let's get Sasha and Mia to help. But my dad might be gone by the time we get back. True, true. I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the grand head. You're right. We do. Wait. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? So, who is in control here? Dad. <laughs> really? Right. Let, let's split up and compare notes in a bit. Wait, what is this? That's not normal. Well, at least you know we thought about his family. Yeah, but what's with all the lines showing how we're all related? Maybe he was getting more forgetful? Yeah, no. Why would he... He's under someone else's control. But the question Here is, is who? Elephants. That's pretty normal. In his mind? Have you ever seen my father? He never thought about his clothes. What the? Maybe your dad was considering a change of beard? Never! Not my dad! Uh... I guess he's really proud of his diplomas. Then why doesn't he hang them up in his office? He's... secretly proud? 
Dad? This is very, very, very creepy. I don't get it. It's almost like he comes here to practice being himself. Rasputin, I gotta tell you, I don't like it. Lily, take it from me. All dads are weird. I just don't know what's wrong with him. He's not <laughs> himself. Careful, Raz. That's still my dad. I don't really think of your dad as a vain man. He's not. I'm telling you, something's not right in this stupid place. Hmm. How do I? I think there's something under. Yeah. More plaster. Whoa! Whoa really? Your dad was a really big fan of Nick from the mailroom. Well, no. Most people are. Except my dad. My dad once told me he thought Nick John Smith was an obsequious little Lick Spittle. Lick Spittle? That's how my dad talked. My real dad. Raz, this isn't my dad's mind. Lily! It's Nick's mind. And there is the missing piece. Hey, you kids! Get off that carpet. VIPs only. If it's not your dad's mind, whose mind is it? His. Nick's brain is missing, but, I mean, Nick? Make way, common folk. Make room for Zazarovich Crystal Malik, future Czar of Gro Oh my goodness, that's why he was looking for Maligula. Nick is the Zazarovich? I can't believe it. What's a Zazarovich? The missing heir to the throne of Grulovia. He lived in exile with his family after Maligula destroyed the capital. Why is his brain in your dad's body? And this where is, is my up. father's real brain? Come on, let's make him talk. Come on, he's getting away. Move aside. Hey, no cap. Coming through. So he's trying to get rid of Maligula because she would be the only threat to his position. Hi. Can we get on the ride, please? Did you two cut in line? We're VIPs. Oh, does that stand for vertically impaired preteens? Hmm. Oh, come on! This is an emergency! Ah, uh, it's for your own safety. Come back when you're older. Hmm. There we go. Okay, we're older. Check us now. Oh man, how long have I had this job? <laughs> Sorry. Grolovians only. What? You can't... It's okay, Raz. Go! But, Lily... Don't worry. I have a plan. Wow, this is... this is really, no. uh... Hey! Follow that czar!
Soviet. Never has a nation been more prosperous, its people more content. It was all a facade. Never was a royal family more beloved than the Maliks, Tsar Theodore, Tsarina Rokov, and the young Lazarevich Crystal. The nation looked forward to the happy day when Crystal Malik would legally and rightfully inherit his father's throne. But alas, that was not meant to be. The Tsar's Minister of War and Protector of the People, General Maligula, had aroused the jealousy of the warmongering Ford Crawler. What the? He led his mob of psychonauts to gang up on Maligula, drowning the brave warrior. What? Just when I thought I'd heard every version of this story. And drowning much of Grunovia in the process. Why didn't the Tsar help Maligula in her time of need? No one knows, but historians agree it is Tsar Theodore's biggest failure. Uh, because he was using her to his own ends. The Maliks and Maligula were betrayed by the weakness of the Tsar and the bloodlust of the Psychonauts. That is some messed up junk. Yeah, because all of it's not true. I'm getting seriously creeped out by this. Hey, Raz. I'm watching you on the control panel here. Why'd you stop? This door won't open. What happened to the ride operator? He, uh, had an accident. <laughs> hmm. Looks like there's an electrical problem up above the ride. Okay, I'll drain the water so you can get up there. If you can fix it, I should be able to get the ride going again from here. Check. I don't like this. Huh. This is not how I heard this story. Then again, I'm not sure who to trust anymore. Understandable. I mean... Hey, Ford. Think you can help me up into those rafters? Say I can't jump on his head. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. You are not going to do that to me. No, it really was not right. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. This is not helping! Okay, sorry. This button for sure. Stop pressing button! 
Can you get off of me? Stop! 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 Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, so he's not trying to get rid of her, he's trying to avenge her, really? Well, no wonder Nick thinks this way, because it sounds like his dad survived. And of course, he wouldn't take responsibility for his actions. idea. Propagandaneering. I'm creating a future chapter in this glorious semi interactive location based epic. This treasure room tells the story of how, once the Zazarovich finds Maligula and restores Grulovia to its former glory, the people will all share in unimaginable riches. But it's missing something. Not sure what. The basis in reality. To go with that big egg cup in the middle? Yeah, something there. Like, maybe an egg? That's it! See? Sometimes you just need a fresh set of eyes. Hey, you get me a big, beautiful, luxurious egg, and I'll use my pass to open that door for you. Deal! Hey, where do they keep the big eggs around here? Crystal told me the best eggs he ever found were out in the ocean. Whatever that means. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, let's see what we can do here. First, this is messed up. Obsession with old glory, endurance of the past, and all that jazz. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Lily, do you see any controls for a giant painted mural with props? I see something called. Glovian Diasporama. 
It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. Hmm. Let's change the scenery. Okay. There are buttons for Arctic Exile, a drift at sea, and desert wasteland. Let's just go. Show me a drift at sea, could you? I guess. All right. Uh... I think I want to change something else now. Whatever. Can we alter the props? Yep. You want cacti, fish, maybe some trees? I think some cacti uh, would really set the mood. I was just thinking the same thing. Those trees are ruining it. Get rid of them. Are you sure this is doing something? I think so. I think what this needs is some fish. Why not? Alright, that ought to do it. I want to change something else, I think. Figures. Uh... Could you move the family for me? Sure. Where do you want them? Stage left, right, or center? Let's do... Front and center. I think that's where Gristle would like his family. Why not? Okay, I don't want to think about that family anymore. Me either. Okay, that's enough for now. Thanks, Lily. Bye, Roz. Okay, let's see if we can oh. get it done. Like a thief. Hey, I know where I am. This is the Lady Lucktopus. The Maliks must have lived at the casino for a while. Suffering in exile. Ha! Lily, All is there's a room here just like the one we found on the mission to the casino. The delusionist was Crystal. So that's why Nick had a Lucktopus key in his pocket. He was living there. Yeah, in exile. Ooh, that means he's the one who wrote the creepy note about me. He's here, Crystal. Really? Wait a second. Huh. Why the long face? My father died today. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. He ruined my life. And if it weren't for him, I'd be the Tsar of Grulovia. <laughs> Believe it or not. Instead, I'm homeless. I don't know. This place looks pretty nice. Ha. <laughs> Good one. Hey, kid. There's... something about you I like. Are you... By any chance of Grulovian blood? Half. Half blood will have to do. <laughs> Come, and let us toast to the fatherland. Hey, want some caviar? Depends. What exactly is caviar? It's just eggs. The most expensive eggs money can buy. Well, since you put it that way, you won't regret it. I mean, look at these eggs. Maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> I don't think one is going to do the trick. We'll see. Nice. Seems to be a lot of cognitive dissonance going on here. This is super creepy. Oh my god! Quick! Roll that over to the treasure room before anyone sees what you did! Oh my poor Theodore!
it's right, right through here. Perfect. Excuse me. Now please leave before you break anything else. Can do. This is a leader, ready to roll. Oh, here's where it devolves into me. I don't think the people would rejoice. I'm fairly certain the memory of what Maligula did is alive and well in the memories of all surviving Grulovians, so, no. Now, did Lucretia believe in the Tsar? That's why she felt... Like this. All right. Bring it on. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Got ya. Now Council must not badger the gavel. You may cross examine, Councillor. All right. I just want to find that cart and get back on the ride again. Really? You want to get back on that creepy ride? Self-indulgence and self-pity? And a whole lot of coping? This must be the moment where Lobato stole Agent Zanato's brain. 
creepy. So Crystal Malik was the one who hired you to swap his brain in for Truman's? I'll never tell. I'm literally watching you do it right now. Where did you put Truman's brain? I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Come on. I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Hold on. Egg in the basket and the old egg in the box. Okay, I get it. So you put Malik's brain into Truman's head and you put Truman's brain into a lockbox. Oh, she would never. Ross, what's Things are getting a little weird. Oh, she would never help you. Weird -er. I think we're coming to the finale. I'm going to try and find a way to meet you at the end. Look for me. Roger that, Potato Masher. Potato Masher? It's a new mission code name I made for you. Oh, I like it. Let's go mash Crystal. Everything that happened was because of the czar. What did you think? I think you're a very confused person, and you don't know what you're messing with. I'm going to restore a whole country to greatness. A country that your heroes, the Psychonauts, tore apart. Nope. Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Czar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. Nope. The people hated the Maliks. If that were true, then why did they unanimously re-elect us every election? Your father used Lucretia Mux to squash non-violent protests. Maligula reigned on a few parades, yes? But that's what cooled them down before they got too violent. Nope. Tsar Theodore made a monster. He pushed a vulnerable young woman to do such horrible things in the name of her country that she snapped. He broke her. He took a sad country girl and turned her into a mighty warrior. And I'm going to do it again. No. Maligula is my grandma. <laughs> oh boy, now who's confused? Rulovia was never great. It was always a fair to middling country at best. Please. I was there. You weren't. It was amazing. I had a cotton candy maker in my bedroom. Where's Truman's brain? Not my problem. I've had enough of this. Yes. Me too. Hey! 
I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes, and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't! She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the Guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You don't say. Please excuse me. I don't want to miss this. Hey, you jerk! I'm going to destroy your shop, Bubba. Not sure I should start a fire while I'm tied up. I'm gonna wreck this place. I'm ruining all your stuff. You'll never turn a profit on this merch. Ha <laughs> ha. Had enough, Crystal? Oh, wait, hold on. in the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Come over here. Help. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Why was he still there, though? <laughs> what? No, not that one. This one. That's it. There it is. children just inside the mind of the grand head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Oh, shut listen, up and just listen. The mole. Kid, you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. But I always had my suspicions. Why, there he is, over there. No. That's the Zazarovich of Prulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ah, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did All she right. just say? Gah. I think we should get out of here. Zarevich, have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Crystal Malek, son of Tsar Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. Four. You're here too? This is awkward. Ah, there's too many people here. Too much baggage. Need to... Push it all away! Oh. <gasps> 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 Lily, wait! Oh. 
I'm gonna need some help. You think? So... What now? Okay. Is Molecular doing that? Of course she's doing that. Yep. Hey. Let me on top of this freaking log. That's not natural. You think? Still at the camp. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. I lost her, Rasputin. This is heartbreaking. Oh no. You know what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. Time for the devil's fire holes. Quippy, on the bottom. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. But what about all that water? The curse isn't real, Dad. It's just something Ford put in our minds to keep us safe. You sure about that? Of course he's not sure. But what choice does he have? You ready, Raz? As I'll ever be. So do it quick.
Okay, where am I going? Can I just join this? Nope. That's right, and there's more where that came from. This is Cherry. My grandparents were part of the protests in Grulovi after the war. It didn't end well. No. Didn't. And that's what broke her. There's a scene I was hoping not to see again. She didn't You're want in it to the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. Grandma Morona, my real Grandma Morona, and my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. Oh, <laughs> I know what I need to do. Ooh, I'm gonna pay for that later. Probably. grandma's sister and I'm here to talk you out of being evil because you know you're still family and all family all I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant a uh, half Grulovian it's not a bit of trash and it's a wash from the streets <laughs> oh boy That's interesting. Why are you hitting yourself, huh? Stop hitting yourself. Ha! Good one, Sam. Two of you are no more threat than one. In my time, I am vanquished entire rock. Hi, Sam. Be cleansed Why you gotta be like this? I'm not afraid of you. You're just an overgrown lust for violence and destruction. Okay, that sounded scarier than I wanted to. But you're actually a normal part of any human mind. Have you tried eating prunes? The problem is she's all twisted up in knots. I got something that'll help you. Unwind! Ooh, that looks painful. It's okay. I have another one. Oh, 
see your quilts, weakling. Hey, that little old lady's inside her. Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Wait, what does that even mean? It means run! part of the fight-or-flight complex. But you're supposed to be small. And stay down in the primitive fight and tell me... I am still you, Shabalabia! Get off of me. Ouch. Nobody wants you out here. Those side parts are good. And good for the fight zone. All right. Stay away from the Voltorb Houthi! You heard the Lady Rasputin. Let's get you away from that water. I'm sorry I thought you were the mole, Raz. Let me make it up to you. Ooh, she looks steamed. And you back off, lady. There's something I have to tell you. I killed my friend. Gisu, Norma, are you? All right, let's finish this. Okay, now put the water snake. The power of pirate radio. Roma came to me, upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? Get to the point. Listening. At least one of them, and they told the others. Thanks, Morris. Owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? You got it, buddy. <laughs> Marona. Wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. Would you listen? I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! What's so bad? <laughs> I kill lots of people! Oh, will you just die already? The only thing I can offer now is everything I've got. Just like in the last game. Oh, nice! What dares 
you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. Ah, my crowley dug his little hole after all. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna fill it. Yep. I like this. My it's all over for you. Bye. something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs. <laughs> Do you have a funnel? Of course I have a funnel. Who doesn't have a funnel? gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? <laughs> hey, it was different when I did it. <laughs> and, and then, uh, and now, uh, I think she deserves a second chance. <laughs> and I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no, you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? <laughs> now that's leadership.
Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. What's that? That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve a second mm -hmm. chance. You've seen us at our worst, and we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! You are all now officially Junior Agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> To say, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. All right. All right. Well, yeah, there we go. That was the entirety of Psychonauts 2. This is a really good game. I knew I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. Hey, thank you everybody for watching. I do appreciate anybody who decided to watch this series. I do really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but uh, it'll be something. Anyways, uh, again, thank you all for watching. Let me know, like, any of you here watching this, and if, let me know if there is, like, any games that you want to see here on this channel. I know that I've kind of got a very small group of people that watch, if anybody watches at all. But if there is something that you want to see on the channel, just kind of bear in mind that I am kind of limited to the hardware that I can use, because, uh, I'm a poor, poor, uh, student. And though I kind of scrounged up to save for a PS5, yeah, and my computer doesn't play games that well anymore. Um, I'm kind of limited by that. But, you know, let me know. Anyways, uh, I hope you all have a fantabulific day, and I will see all of you uh, metaphorically, uh, and not physically, uh, in the next video. Bye-bye! Uh,